What's up Spartans, this is J.A.G. aka Leonidas, I'll be your host from coast to coast, coming at you li li live from 300. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you one of the best Town Hall 10 attacks, AQ Walk Gova. And this uh, attack is going to be ideal for basically kind of like your ring bases, uh, the ones where they're really trying to protect that uh, internal area with infernos and a... Uh, town hall and then they kind of just don't divide off and section off a lot of the base where your Valks are going to have free range and be able to go around and just shred everything so uh let's get into this i believe this was two wars ago uh where i did this come on let's bring up the war log so we can get to the replay and uh we'll try and keep this as short as possible and let's see yeah it was this one here okay so Come on. Well, let's go, laptop. All right, here we go. So this was actually done by me. My uh, It was my attack on their base one, which was essentially a max town hall 10, with the exception of uh, some of the walls here, which we're going to see are right there, basically. And uh, all right, so first things first, when looking at uh, like an AQ walkover, what kind of base do you want to look for? So, what, like I said earlier, is basically you're looking for something where they're protecting kind of the town hall in the middle. They got maybe some infernos there. And then other than that, though, they basically give a nice free open area where your Valks are just going to be able to run around and not really have to worry about any walls. So, for this attack, you're going to want to have five healers. You're going to want to have about 18 Valks. You're going to have a... Uh, wall wrecker with a as high golem as you can get you're gonna want level seven or eight the aq the archer queen you're gonna want her to be level 35 probably minimum you can try maybe maybe just slightly over 30 but you'll probably want maybe like a level 35 minimum uh at town hall 10 the archer queen is crucial so really get her up as far as the spells go you're going to get four heals one range which you're going to use in the middle of the base to really rage them once they're in the concentrated area with uh, the infernos and the expos and then you're going to have a double poison which is going to kill that clan castle uh, which is going to be crucial with this as far as the baby dragons i opted to go for the baby dragons because as you can see right here the only air defense that can basically stop my funnel is right around here and I think, yeah, it's about here, basically, the radius. So as you can see, my baby dragons are going to be able to help clear that funnel, uh, no problem. The only thing that's really going to be able to stop them, which was the archer towers here, and that's really why, with those cannons, I opted for the baby dragons instead. So as far as you're concerned, you can use... Uh, Switch the baby dragons for wizards, it won't really make a difference. Uh, you're going to want five healers for the archer queen walk, and then uh, a little bit of cleanup troops, and that's why I opted for two archers and the wizard that you see there. So, when looking to analyze this base, the thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drop the wall wrecker so that it goes towards the town hall, obviously, but you're going to want to be able to clear out the archer queen and clear out the clan castle. So, if my computer starts bugging out on me here, we're going to see the archer queen is right around here. And the clan castle is basically going to also be drawn out. Oh, man. Seriously. <laughs> wow, okay. I need a new computer. Uh, it's going to be also drawn out basically here. And that is the goal that we're going to try and do. So what you're going to see me do is I'm going to drop the archer queen right around here. I'm going to have her walk this way. You're going to see me walk or drop a baby dragon right around here just to get uh, start clearing out those defenses. It's also, since the archer tower right below that is going to attack the archer queen, I'm going to get a lot of bang for buck, uh, a lot of value out of the baby dragon clearing out that area. You're then going to see me drop a wall wrecker, again, if my laptop stops bugging out on me, right around here, and that's going to go towards the town hall here. And again, what you're going to see is you're going to see uh, this archer tower here target it. And I'm actually not going to drop the baby dragon until it targets it. Because then I'm going to drop it around here to help funnel and really force those Valks and the archer queen inside the base. And I'm going to get a lot of value out of there because it's going to clear up a whole bunch of that corner section. So the goal in this case is to 
break through those first two walls. So break through basically the wall here and the wall here. And then once you get into the base, then you're going to be able to release your Valks delayed so they go in more central and uh, clear it out. So that's basically the concept. We'll run through it as we see the replay and um, probably make it a little bit easier in that case. All right, so let's bring this up here. If my laptop stops bugging out on me, come on, there we go. Okay, so let's run through this and here we go. So as you're gonna see in the top portion of this base here, you're gonna see the queen go with the five healers. You're gonna see a baby dragon now, since the archer tower was targeted onto the queen. And you're gonna see me start to funnel that corner. You're gonna see the wall wrecker, like I said, go right towards the town hall, really to break that wall and force that queen to go interior into the base. And now, since the Archer Tower hit that wall wrecker, I instantly drop that Baby Dragon on the other side. Because now you're going to see the Baby Dragon clear that corner as well. So the Archer Queen goes in. I use the King to try and help funnel a little bit in case he was going to go outside just to force the Valks in. You're going to see me drop one Poison on the Queen. Second one that's really going to go more on that interior there for the Clan Castle, which you can see right now. The Queen's still uh, clearing up a little bit. And now, I'm going to pause this for a sec. You're going to see the Valks, and I didn't drop the Valks until now because if you don't funnel properly, they will go around the outside of the base, and then your whole attack is done. You need to get them into that interior core. And as you can see right now, uh, let's actually bring up uh, some of the paint here just to make kind of illustrate this. Come on. We have basically this whole section here that's cleared out, so the Valks really aren't going to be able to go anywhere but inside the core at that point and that's what we're gonna that's what you're gonna want and uh it's gonna be crucial to get that during the attack so that's why you're gonna want to delay them let the archer queen do her thing let the golem uh, soak up damage it's really not gonna make an issue especially with these multi infernos here if they were single infernos i'd probably put giants in the cc just because uh that way they wouldn't be able to take them out as quickly so now what you're gonna see here is the Archer Queen, all the Velks go in, rage that core, so they speed up there. And now some of them are going to go around that middle, which isn't too much of an issue, because you're going to see that Archer Queen start to attack that Town Hall. I have the heals there, which I can now heal the Velks, keep them alive. And we're going to pause and reposition this for a second here. There we go. And then what you're going to see is I'm going to start to clear up those Teslas in the middle, clear up those Inferno, going to go through the CC. The Golem's still alive and getting healed. And actually, if you look over in this section in the bar, far left of the base, around 9 o'clock, that Baby Dragon is still going and clearing up. And that is a huge amount of value. Absolutely huge. And even then, the Archer Tower is still taking uh, the Golem. So just tons of, uh, up until the Air Bomb, tons of value. So what you're going to see is I still have my two archers uh, for cleanup, just waiting, watching the Valks. I mean, I'm tearing through the majority of the base. The Queen's working up at the top with a healer still on her. I have a Golem that's unbroken. I have a Valk that was, uh, up until there, was taking out the cannon. I still have about five more Valks on the uh, 6 o'clock end here that are just cleaning up this base. And I still have a heal as well. And I have three defenses. So it's a very powerful attack. As long as everything kind of goes your way. And you really have to plan in order to get it to go your way. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this is just kind of the end of the base. I mean, I'm not even going to need to use the uh, Archer Queen's ability in this case. The Golem's still unbroken and will, will be until the end of this attack. And the heal, you're just going to see me drop because why not? And I have so much Max Elixir anyways. Or I have Max Elixir, I don't need it. So that was the attack. Uh, hopefully that helps... Uh, I'll try and get maybe a few more Town Hall 10 ones before I go to Town Hall 11 because I am on my way and there's not too many more. Maybe a couple aerials that I might be able to show uh, might delay my... I've cancelled my Town Hall a few times now just so for video-wise. But uh, thanks again everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see future videos. Uh, hit the bell notification too so you actually see the uh, notifications on the updates of the videos. Don't forget to like this video as well. And uh, good luck on trying this uh, with your base. This is going to be uh, Lee and I signing off. Thanks again, everyone. Peace out.